so in the previous video just we had discussion about what is serial version uid what problems are there if we are depending on default serial version uid generated by jvm sir let me first problem both sender and receiver should use same jvm version same dot class file version and uh, maybe a chance of performance problems are you getting sir at least uh, let me show at least one problem with with example here i want to use same mission sender and receiver same person same mission i will change dot class file then i will show the problem here observe this one sir here i have class dog is there int i is equal to 10 int j is equal to 20 of course same thing only here sender side i created an object i created one one object sir and i serialized this object to the file are you getting i am i'm trying to serialize this object sir sender side this is the dot class file and i created an object and i am trying to serialize this object to the file serialized and the same mission same person so means uh, same jvm same jvm same jvm version and the same mission same dot class file only i am using i am trying to deserialize here have you observed dot class file is the same only jvm is the same happily deserialization by default will be happen and uh, now there is no change in serial version uids happily the code compiles and runs up fine deserialization successful observe case one if everything goes fine what is the normal flow now have a look sir here i'm taking dog class dog dog implements what serializable there are two properties are there in i and j sir this is the dog class dog dot java sender dot java what is doing dog d1 is equal to new dog so sender created a dog object and he is trying to serialize this object receiver he is trying to deserialize and printing d2 dot i d2 dot j okay sir let me compile all three classes sir java c dog dot java next java c sender dot java next java c receiver dot java yes all the three things got compiled now java sender java sender sender i'm trying to serialize sir sender is serializing yes serialization completed now same mission same jvm same dot class file now the receiver is trying to deserialize are you getting sir happily 1020 is the answer sir if there is no change in jvm version if there is no change in dot class file version no problem at all happily we will deserialization will be successful because number unique id serial version uids are same but now observe what i want to do is sir sender created dog object and the serialized this dog object to the file sir sender Sir created dog object and the serialized this dog object to the file. Now what the receiver did is before deserialization, receiver modified this dot class file, sir. Sir he added assume that assume that receiver side same dot class file is there, right? Class dot int i is equal to 10, int j is equal to 20. Sir, before deserialization, first of all, already completed, created an object and a serialized. Now, receiver added a new property, sir. He added a new property. That class file got modified. Even though we are using same JVM, but for this updated dot class file, maybe a different number may generate. Assume it is 100, unique ID is 100. But for this updated dot class file, the same JVM 
may generate different number then local class unique id object unique id both are not matched immediately we will get what runtime exception saying invalid class exception immediately we will get what runtime exception saying invalid class exception are you able to understand right so just because of dot class file change deserialization fails receiver is going to get runtime exception saying what invalid class exception is it clear for all of you okay this sir let me show this one here abjan here see doc same sender same receiver same observe this one java sender sir take very special case java sender serialization happen with the old dot class file object now after serialization now i'm trying to change dot class file int k is equal to 30 i'm taking sir i added a new property a new property because dot class file got changed let me compile sir java c dog dot java dot class file updated now receiver trying to deserialize java receiver sir have you observed now dot class file got modified now receiver has updated dot class file but file contain old dot class file object even though we are using same jvm version but different serial version uids will be generated now observe this sir sir here java receiver observe exception in thread main java dot io dot invalid class exception for a dog can you please read remaining also invalid class exception local class local class incompatible stream class serial version uid is have you observed stream class stream class serial version uid is file sir double one eight double nine but local class serial version uid double seven six zero some number both are not same both are not same that's why sir deserialization fails sir are you getting right sir in serialization deserialization both sender and receiver should use same jvm version same dot class file version after serialization if a dot class file got updated then immediately receiver side receiver side jvm am unable to deserialize because of different serial version uids now this person is unable to deserialize sir then how i can solve this problem sir in this scenario who is the responsible to generate serial version uid sender and receiver side jvm sir don't give the chance to the bloody jvm to generate serial version uid instead of depending on default serial version uid generated by jvm can you please configure our own serial version uid are you getting just how we can very simple sir in every class in in that serializable class private sir it is the private static final are you getting private static final long yes serial version uid is what type long type long serial version uid is equal to 1l are you getting sir if i can keep this one if i can keep this one in the serializable class private starting final long serial version uid is any long value are you getting now either jvm will generate serial version uid or jvm will use our serial version uid jvm will always use our serial version uid here also same thing by default will be there can you please re repeat sir private static final long serial version serial version uid is equal to 1l are you getting sir now take very special care sender side jvm create an object and the serializer which which serial version uid got saved to the file 1l after serialization now now sir receiver side he added some more new properties sir int k is equal to 30 int m is equal to 40 some more properties but receiver side jvm is always going to use this serial version uid only jvm won't generate sir this number this number got matched or not 
matched even though you added new properties no problem at all because you are not giving the chance to jvm to generate sir this number this number both are matched that's why na uh, sir deserialization happily will happen even though that class file got modified are you getting right sir let me show let me solve this problem right here see how i can solve sir just uh, here see this one sir now i'm taking sir private static final long long what is the name serial version serial version uid is equal to 1l some long value private static final long serial version uid compulsory the name should be like this sir let me compile java c dog dot java compile is fine sir i didn't change sender code and receiver code that's why let me execute sender code java sender sender created an object and the ser serialized that object to the file have you observed sender created an object and the serialized to the file after serialization now i want to change something to the dot class file int k is equal to 30 int m is equal to 40 okay like this i'm changing that now java c dog dot java now receiver has updated dot class file but uh, same serial version uid only okay now let me execute receiver code java receiver okay like this are you getting sir even though after serialization dot class file got modified no problem at all happily deserialization by default will work that's why highly recommended wherever implement serializable is there in that class highly recommended to write our own serial version uid are you able to understand that if you are depending on that bloody default serial version uid generated by jvm we may get 10 number of problems that's why highly recommended to configure our own serial version uid in our serializable classes i hope you people can able to understand sir do you know if we are working on ides ID Eclipse, my Eclipse, like if you are working on IDEs, sometimes IDE, whenever you are writing implement serializable, IDE prompt the programmer to enter serial version UID because IDE aware this problem. That's why some IDEs prompt, prompt the programmer, prompt the programmer to enter serial version UID explicitly because IDE aware this problem. But some intelligent IDEs, do you know? Some intelligent IDEs will generate serial version UID explicitly, automatically, instead of giving the chance to the JVM. Are you getting that? So, make sure, sir, IDE is doing a big activity, sir, in this role. Why? Why IDE adding default serial version UID? Or why IDE is asking to enter serial version uid explicitly to solve this type of problems only it is not recommended to depend on default serial version uid generated by jvm because in serialization deserialization in distributed application sender and receiver compulsory should use same jvm same dot class file version there is no guarantee even performance problems also coming that's why to overcome these problems highly recommended to configure our own serial version uid sir very simple it's a private static final long serial version uid is equal to 1l any number any number 1l 2l 3l any number you can keep so in your serializable implemented classes is it clear for all of you this is what uh, serial version uid which is internally takes care by jvm but don't give the chance to the bloody jvm better to configure our own serial version uid that's all sir with this the total serialization concept got completed just make sure twice or thrice better to review sir minimum four times five times all these videos around 14 videos i hope 14 or 15 videos will come better to revise twice or thrice 
then automatically you people can get confidence. So this is one area where when compared with the remaining, you people can show, okay, this is the difference, right? Especially externalization, okay? Most of the people don't know about this concept. Serial version UID, most of the people don't know about this concept. Can you please explain serialization, deserialization difference? Most of the people don't know. Serialization, externalization difference. Most of the people don't know that. That's why these areas, sir, so this is one area where you can get much, much confidence. So, better to review these uh, videos, at least uh, revise uh, twice or thrice, then obviously we will get much confidence in the subject. Okay? That's all, sir. Thank you.